<laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Schuppel, and the house I'm staying in is very, very dirty. Like this. What is this? Like this. Oh, disgusting. That's cat food. Why is this on the floor? Hey, William, why is your house so dirty? What? Why is your house so dirty? It's not that bad. What? I thought I'd do my part and try to keep the house clean because I'm not paying rent. And Ellie's kind of expensive. So I hopped on Amazon to see what things I can find to keep the house a little clean. My friend's house is hella dirty. Hello kitty, uh, no, this is not what I wanted. Ooh, would you look at these? I found the perfect robot right in my price range of $69.99. Add to cart. A couple days later, the package showed up. It's kind of smashed up. Uh, let's check the doorbell footage. That's a sick looking Roomba. Oh, look at that, it's working. We quickly realized the Roomba can only clean one floor at one time. <laughs> this is a failure. I think we need to improve this invention using... <laughs> this is terrible. We're gonna cover up this little doohickey here. I taped over the stair sensor to make it go downstairs. My son, my son, what have you done? I was hoping to get it to tumble down the stairs and clean the bottom floor, but it kind of got a little hung up. <laughs> I can think of a few solutions, like waiting for it to clean the floor and then moving it up and down, but that's too much because there's too many floors. And there's like first floor. I ended up counting 46 and that's way too many Roombas to buy, but I do have a third option. What if it could fly between floors? Peter, oh my oh god, my god. Please. Oh my god, what? Rewind, we have to go back before we can go forward. So a few weeks ago, we actually ordered this Roomba off of Amazon. To Peter, I would pull a Suck Puck 900. Oh, look, it's so plasticky and cheap. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's gone. That's a tiny suck hole in that vacuum. It's I think it's making more of a mess than it is cleaning yeah. up. <laughs> what did you get for me, suck boy? It picked up zero of the pellets. So that's terrible, but okay. We were actually pretty impressed with how well this cheap Amazon Roomba thing really worked. It's a lot lighter than a normal commercial Roomba. Now it's time for Sam to add some of these components. He's just gonna go ahead and make a tricopter out of this using some Amazon ducted fans. Pulling off plastic reveals that, well, you can actually screw these things anywhere. And it's basically done at this point. Sam has been meticulously working on this for the past two years. We're gonna plug it in now and see if it explodes. Uh, this is the first inaugural hover test, and here it goes. All right, Sam, you hold the battery here. We're just gonna try to see if it can hover, if it has enough thrust to lift itself. All right. Okay, it needs to be tuned. Let me tune it real fast. <laughs> uh, so it needs the rudder. We don't have a rudder yet. Um, let me just tape a, tri a trim vein onto it. So this is a tricopter, and tricopters have basically three. And the way you control y'all with three, and not that anyone really cares, is you have a little tilty rudder thing. I'm just gonna take this to my controller. Okay, this tape isn't working. Let's add the rudder control yaw vein thing. I'm gonna cut some light ply to make this rudder control direction thing. This is made out of some aircraft ply. Here's some tape for some hinges. This is what's gonna work pretty well, and this is gonna give us all the yaw throw you were really gonna need. I'm gonna hot glue this thing on because hot glue is the best thing ever. And uh, plug in some more electronic doohickeys here. 
Now we got the all, y'all. All right, so now there's a rudder servo. So that should control the yawing action, so it shouldn't spin around anymore. But let's try it out. <laughs> it totally can fly. <laughs> Good job, Sam. You did it. It flies. All right, hang on. I'm trying to fly through oh. the table. <laughs> That's awesome. It works. This is awesome. Let's go get some reactions. Back to the house party. It is now time to interrogate my friends at this uh, YouTube house convention party. Yay. <laughs> Fine Canadian males, how much would you pay for this home cleaning technology? How much was retail for the original Roomba? $59 on Amazon. $69. No. I'll give you 20 bucks in labor, $89. How much were the fans in actual cost? Uh, they were expensive, probably around $200 electronics. $50 Roomba. $180. Do I need to explain economics to you? Hello, fine American male. Thanks How much would you pay for this innovative home cleaning technology that's also an aerial vehicle? Well, I assume you got this right off the rack at Menards or something, right? Uh, that is an insult. <laughs> this is a custom prototype. Honestly, I would probably honestly pay 500 bucks for this. $500? Yeah, pretty Sounds pretty good. This is pretty awesome. How much would you pay for it? I would pay a little bit more than too much money. Very good. This is coming to your house. You'll get one of the prototypes very soon. Do you know where I live? Uh, I will find out. <laughs> I think this is not the party I expected to go to. Hello, fine sir. Hello. How much would you pay for this innovation of aerial technology and home cleaning stuff? Oh man, I, I would I would do like uh, four ninety nine. Is that four hundred ninety nine dollars? Four dollars ninety nine cents. Uh, okay, I will consult China on that, and we'll get back to you. Thank thank you. I'm very interested. It looks like I left Williams. We still haven't done any real world testing, so I need to find a test subject and we're gonna actually see if the Roomba can actually clean because we've only done demos so far. Let's go, let's go upstairs. How would you like some cereal? Yes? Oh, oh, that's too much cereal. Where's my milk? Hey, Roomba up! Come on, Roomba, come on! Flying Roomba is definitely success coming to a store near you. Uh, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And uh, let me know what stupid things you want to see me do with the Roomba. Oh, for all you still wondering, yes, this is like a legit Roomba. Unlike Michael Reeves' Roomba. If you look under here, look under the hood. Look at that. That is some epic cereal inside the box. Oof, it's a little dirty. <laughs> can make absolutely anything fly. He's a genius in everything that has to do with flight, and he's an idiot in everything else, because he put all That's his right. points in the one category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.